Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Hmm? Me? I'm good. Real good. It's travel day. Uh, we have left the fairgrounds in Cottonwood. I highly recommend that place. Um, $15 a night without hookups. $25 with hookups. Water in a dump station. Right in the middle of town. But uh, Felix and I have left. He came back from his trip. If you hadn't seen the last video, came back from his trip. We're riding together again. Got my groceries. Got gas. Got everything. I'm gonna go pick up my KLR. I'm here at Go AZ. I'm here at Go AZ Motorcycles and Cottonwood. So far, been pretty good to deal with. Just having trouble getting parts. But uh, I see Killer Mo sitting right there. Man, I didn't, I didn't think it'd ever get that bike back. It's been weeks. Well, Tucker, I ordered. I didn't order the gasket sets that I needed. And for whatever reason, most popular motorcycle Kawasaki's built and had it 30 years. They didn't have a, a valve cover gasket or a, um, what do you call it? A uh, generator gasket kit. So I had to order that. What else? Yeah, Dad, what else happened? Well, the kit I got for the Tusk Panniers, the luggage, they sent me two right-hand parts. And I needed a right hand and a left hand, so I had to get a welder to fix it. Dad? Yeah, Tuck. No, nobody really cares. I bet they do. No more stinking thinking for you. No more stinking thinking. That's right, you knucklehead. Ooh. This bike shop has more bikes than any I've run across, and I've visited several in the last few months. I think they got six brand new KLR 22 models, the ones with fuel injection. That's the new 2022 KLR right here. Thought about buying a new one, but uh, the price is like 7,900. But by the time you get it out the door, it's 10. Bike shops are charging a lot. Uh, to put them together and shipping and freight and all that stuff nowadays. It's pretty. This is the deluxe. The, I don't know the right name, but it's the deluxe model. It's got ABS fuel injection. This is a lesser model. You can get out the door for one of these for about nine. Doesn't have the luggage. Don't have the racks, which I'd prefer. A little dual sport right here. KLX 230. Thought about it for Felix, but... It's a lot of money to learn how to ride on. Here we go. I don't know why one of the luggage racks is out like that. So it's got the tusk panniers on it. Yep, yep, yep. And I had him uh, put blue Loctite on all the connectors. The doohickey, the chain adjustment tensioner is in here. It's adjustment. There's adjustment right under here. Every time you change your oil, you loosen it, you tap the case, and the doohickey self-adjusts the chain inside the engine. And of course, uh, I did the uh, had the valves done as well. And they also added this cigarette lighter plug for me here. I got a phone mount waiting for me in quartzite uh, at the uh, one of the delivery uh, mail places. So right now my phone's here, but soon it'll be here. I don't know. I think mine looks just as good, if not better, than the new one. What have they done here? I don't know why I got so many boxes. Box lids. Huh. I ordered them off eBay. And I got in touch with the eBay supplier. This is the part that was wrong. If you can see it, it's just a bracket. There's a left side and a right side, and they gave me two right right hands. 
So I had to go to the well to shop, spend 60 bucks. I needed it then. It looks like they sent me another lid. Won't ask questions. Good to have a spare. Look at all the room in there. Get groceries and do laundry with these on here. But uh, I'll let these people work on my bike again. They gave me a, a estimate before the job. And even though they ran into some trouble installing the panniers, um, they, they honored their, uh, their estimate. So everything else cost what they said. So yeah, I do business again with Go Arizona Motorcycles and Cottonwood. You hear that? noise that's why they call them thumpers they go single cylinder but I'm gonna go test drive it and then um, put it on the back of uh, Lady Bigfoot Felix and I are headed to Phoenix well you know I said has some business in Phoenix we're down here Felix is I think he's parked behind me parked in the church parking lot next to electric bikes we're here at Electric Bikes in Phoenix, Arizona. This here's Christian. He's the guy that contacted me on uh, YouTube. Uh, actually, wrote me an email and said, hey, I got some electric bikes I'd like you to take a look yeah. at. So uh, here we are. And when I got out of the truck, I was like, uh, you know, Felix, Felix is right here to my side. I'm like, we're kind of big guys and everything. Are you sure you, these, these electric bikes will hold us? He said, no problemo. <laughs> So let's see what he's got. Welcome to Electric Bikes. Hey boss. Oh, music. All right, so I'm gonna have to put some music over this. Got a lot of different models here. I've seen these bikes. Looky, looky, looky. Look how it, uh, Look how it folds up right here. So we've got all kind of accessories, have helmets. Are all these models the same? They're similar? So they're pretty similar. There's some differences. Um, let's go over here. I'll show you the kind of the, the differences here. Um, we, Felix has been wanting to get a dual sport motorcycle, but he's never ridden a motorcycle, but he's ridden a bicycle. This might be a good oh, in, yeah. intermediary for so, in, intermediary, is that the word? For someone that Definitely. This used to a bicycle, but maybe not a motorcycle. Yeah, this will be a good stepping stone for him. Um, so, like, this is our XP model. As it, you can see, the frame is a standard frame okay. right here. Whereas this model is our step-through model. That frame is angled down, well, it's lower, and it makes it easier to get on and off the bike. So, for people that have maybe limited mobilities in their hips and knees. Right. Or the, the, the older RV side. crowd. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. there, there's a there's a market. There's a oh, lot. There's a lot sure. of us. For sure. So we're yeah. on the we're on the younger end of the RV market. Older, oh yeah, but, trust but, me. I've I've hung out with a lot of RV YouTubers, so I kind of know the, the yep. market. They're yep. definitely fluctuating. So tell me, what's what's the weight limit and what's the range? So the range of the bike, it depends on how you're riding. The so speeds. So let's say it's uh, flat ground and it is the most perfect day in the world, no wind, and you're pedaling, um, you could probably get you know closer to that 40 mile range. Um, but if you're going uphill, sure, it's gonna be lower. If you use the throttle, you're looking at like 20. Um, of course, the weight of the rider it affects everything as, as well. So, it's just, just like on a motorcycle, it affects exactly. your fuel mileage and your performance. Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah. And then uh, the total weight capacity of the bike altogether is 330. Um, most of the, the time... Is, is it heavy, Felix? Mm -hmm. No, not for me. Yeah, yeah it's, about, it's about 63 pounds. So it's, it's not anything crazy. It is heavy, but all e-bikes are pretty heavy. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's not too bad. Look how that folds up. Yeah, you can fold nice. it up really nicely and kind of tuck it away. And so you don't you wouldn't have to have a bike rack on the back if you had that much room in your RV. Oh, yeah. yeah, 
Maybe. Even the pedals fold just so if you need that a little extra inch. I think this would fit uh, beside your uh, easy chair in Miss Gypsy. Yeah, that would fit. Behind, like between the, the, the driver. Look at there. Look at that. Right under my table, too. Oh, yeah, up under the RV table. Yeah. There yeah, you go. So when this bike came out back in 2019 is when we had our first model, um, RVers were kind of who we had in mind. Um, Levi, our CEO, his aunt and uncle are full-time RVers. So they were kind of our guinea pigs mm. test product. Oh, okay. So we came out with a bike and it did not work at all. Um, it w wasn't a foldable bike, it was like a road bike. And they were like, we want something that's foldable, has fat tires so it could handle different types of terrain. And then that's where we came out with like our first model of this. Sweet. Um, so luckily this is the 2.0 model and it's even better because it has front suspension as well. Right. So it makes even more. You've done the research and development and done yeah. the trials and... Yeah, well, we listen to our customers a lot. You know, if without them, like, we wouldn't be yeah. as successful as we are. And, you there know, you the feedback that they give us is, I mean, it's definitely worth listening. You know, why wouldn't you listen to them, you know? There you go. Now, when I spoke to Christian on the phone, I was kind of hesitant. I get a lot of offers to try out different products and whatnot. And... Um, you know, if, if I can't give an honest review on it, uh, I'm not doing a commercial so much as an honest review. And I said, well, you know, I'll tell it just like it is, no better, no worse. If that still works for you, if you're interested, Felix and I will try them out. He said, absolutely. So here we are. The only thing that kind of concerns me is you know, the seat. Do they make a bigger seat? Yeah, so we do, we do have a bigger seat. We also have um, a suspension seat post as well. Okay. It's called our comfort package, which I actually have one right here. I was just looking at that spring. So this is kind of like our, what we call our Cadillac. Okay. Because it has all the bells and whistles. I see the racks. Offered. So, yeah, you got your cargo packages, um, which, you know, you'll be able to do a grocery run pretty easily. Well, that's what we need them for. Yeah. You'll be able to do that pretty easily. Um, get like a week's worth of groceries. Um, and then it's got a phone holder right here. Sweet. Um, so, you know, if you need directions, just put your phone there. Um, and then also we have the mirrors. Got to see what's behind you. There you um, go. Got right, the, look at the light. Right here in the front is our premium headlight. Awesome. So that's two times brighter than our standard light. Um, so it, it helps for riding at night and riding at dusk. Um, <clears throat> you see right here, we have a place for a lock. Um, so that way the lock isn't rattling around um, okay. when you are you're riding. And then last, here's the that comfort package I was just talking about. There you go. So spring-loaded suspension seat post, and then this is our bigger, giant bigger seat. seat. It's got a little bit of springiness to it you as know. well, so it just added comfort. Us, us older riders are starting to have a few prostate issues, so oh, the, yeah. the, the more suspension and bigger, oh, yeah. bigger, bigger the seat. Yeah, I always say it's like riding on your your couch in your living room. It's just so much com so much more comfortable than our standard seat, and it's it's honestly kind of worth it to to get that upgrade. How long does it take to charge from like let's say zero, or okay. is it is it a lithium battery? Yes, it's a lithium battery. So it could go all the way to zero. Yeah, so you know it from fully dead to fully charged, you're looking about four to six hours. That's not bad. Um, right. Which yeah, just which a regular one ten outlet. Yep, exactly. So okay. Um, and you can charge the bike battery um, right here. There's a little port plug, so you don't even have to take the battery out. But if you wanted to, you mm -hmm. can remove the battery and leave the bike outside, bring the battery into your rig, and then charge it. So you've got lots of options no, if you how want. How is it in the weather? Is it waterproof? Yeah, so the bike is uh, IP65 rating, so okay. it's, it's pretty water resistant. Because I know another other bikes, another one that I've seen on YouTube battery gets wet and that's it yeah no matter what they do like every cat that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah so i mean beauty of our bike with it being inside the frame yeah, is there's a lot more protection um so but water resistant it does pretty well if you get caught in a very heavy storm yes, obviously we would, we would you're, you're, on, you're on electric you're on an electric bicycle get, you know, get cover you, yeah <laughs> Yeah. It rains. And yeah. And honestly, what works really well for these is like a, 
uh, lawnmower cover, grill cover, barbecue yeah. cover, okay. you know, something simple like that. This is awesome. That's a good, you know, Felix, we were looking for a, a, a dual sport motorcycle for you, but this may suit you better than a bike, especially down in Quartzsite. You know, it's really flat. And well, what, what, what are the speeds? Let's say it's a 200 pound rider. What kind, how fast would it go? Yeah, so the throttle will be able to go up to 20 miles per hour. Okay. Um, if we turn this on here. So when you turn the bike on, it says zero. Okay. Um, that's the level of pedal assist. There's no power to the throttle. It's just a normal bike. Okay. You click this plus button and you're in pedal assist one. And then if I tip this on the kickstand here, turn that throttle, it'll get up and go. Understood. And in all five levels, so one through five mm -hmm. in pedal assist, the throttle is active. Each level of pedal assist is going to assist you to a certain speed if you're just pedaling. No throttle, right. just pedaling. Pedal assist one, you're looking about like seven miles per hour. Pedal assist two is about 12 to 13. And then it goes all the way up to 20. Um, but you are able to unlock the bike meaning that it's a class three bike now, to where pedal assist five will assist you up to 28 miles per hour, but the throttle stays at 20. Understood. What's the, what's the life of the, the lithium ion? To, I know the batteries that we have in our RVs, the lithium ions are rated 10 years. Yeah, so for these ones, it's rated more between three to five years. Okay. Um, so it has a good life, and we do sell spare batteries for 299. Okay. Um, so. And this whole bike, minus these accessories, just our stock bike, is nine ninety nine. Okay. Whereas like a lot of our competitors are, you know, I've seen them. I've seen them fifteen, eighteen hundred dollars. Yeah. So, our what? big mission was to make an affordable, good bike, um, to, and make it accessible for all people, sort of thing. What kind of warranty do you offer? Do you have extended warranties? Or? Yeah, so it comes with a one year warranty, and Part. then uh, we do extended warranty, which I believe is. Um, 80 bucks for the second year. Okay. So. Okay. And yeah, we didn't know we were going to do this video five minutes ago. So <laughs> here, here we are. All right. Thanks for walking us through it. I really am digging that seat. Yeah. The racks aren't sure. too bad either. I like the racks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm okay. Oh, Boom. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Carrie Foxy Lady. Yeah. Gotta bring you. your dog. Put, could put two, two in the front and one in the back. If you had three. Oh. I'm just saying, yeah. if, you, if, you, if you had three. Oh. Uh, well, when three and one together makes four. There you go. Oh, there you go. There you go. All right. Christian's going to demonstrate uh, folding the bike, and he said that um, we're talking we're talking about the rack system, and uh, he said that he's going to uh, allow us to take some racks with us as well. Uh, that you lose the foldability of the bike. Then I asked him, I said, what if we just take off the back rack and leave the front? He said, the bike will fold. Look at that. you got like just regular motorcycle type suspension up front. Look at those fat tires. It'll be good for the desert and the rocks and the sand. Yeah. But Christian here, he's going to show us how to fold the bike. Yeah, so my favorite way, everyone has their own kind of way, but I like to take the handlebars down first. Okay. So there's this silver ball right here on this latch you just push it up and okay. then pull it out okay and then it comes right next to the front it. wheel there i always make sure that my pedal is kind of in this position because the bike folds in half okay. so we don't want to have that pedal get in the way put that kickstand up on this latch there's a little lever that says open i see it push it forward pull it out the way that's made you're not going to trip that and then Boom. And there's a little bracket at the very bottom of the bike. So it's not sitting on your chain ring. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. Look at these tires. Huh. That, that's, that's incredible. Where do, you, where do you pick it up from? Where do you, where do you carry it from? Um, so best way is there's these little grooves kind of in the back here. So I hold here and I normally grab this the frame part where the battery is located. Yeah. Okay. And then I lift it up. Um, I want to show you guys over here. We have the bike folded. Oh, but it's in a 
Oh, it's a Tupperware. A, a Craftsman tub for yourself. That's another way to. That's good for families. For storing the bike. Van dwellers. Yep. Yeah. Well, you know, if you put it on the back on a, like a regular bicycle rack, these are kind of pricey. Mm -hmm. It may grow legs. <laughs> if you can get it inside your RV, yeah, oh the, yeah, the chances of it's a lot safer. And that's that's one reason why we kind of came out with the foldability of it. Is it gives you know people who are on the road options. You know? I've heard I've heard of uh, uh, RV dwellers, people taking their bicycles off while they're inside. Yeah, you know, so having it inside takes away that yeah that temptation. Yeah, definitely. There you go. You got it figured out. Come over here beside the the building. They're gonna do some test. Beep beep. I see you rolling. They hate him. Riding dirty. Well, that makes me happy. <laughs> this is great. My man, my man Felix. Don't run into me. You happy? Look at that man smile. So our customer service team, they are answering calls about, you know, product questions, shipping times. Parts. Parts, exactly. And they're also doing, um, like troubleshooting. All of our customer service reps are trained um, fixing bikes as well. So that way they have a better understanding of how to you know, walk someone step, step by step on a, a, an adjustment. Because I mean, one thing is we want to empower our customers to know their bike and to work on their bike if it comes to it. Because go. a lot of stuff are pretty easy. Pretty you know, simple. And you also want to show the customer that you know about the bike. Exactly. Because sometimes you call places, hey, I'm having it. And they don't, oh, let me get to this person. Yeah. yeah. They yeah. Give you the run around. And everybody's yeah. right here. Yep. Everyone's Good. right here and everyone knows, you know, everything about the bike and the company. So. Sweet. Yeah. What, a, what a place. All right. Felix has taken delivery of his. Set him up with the uh, a little extension of the customer service. The seat. Oh, okay. He's got the springy seat with the shock absorber. Look at there. Man, you even gave us a even gave us a phone holder. Yep, got a phone holder. Good deal. I think you guys are gonna really enjoy them. Oh yeah, I you're am. gonna have you're gonna have so much fun. I am. Oh, be good. <laughs> Phoenix, I'm on the driver. Oh yeah. Sweet. All right, Christian. In this box is your charger and your manual. Okay. Um, I got you the, the comfort package here. So the giant seat, springy uh, suspension seat post, and uh, the phone holder, Sweet. as well as those cargo packages. Uh, that you right. Okay, the electric bike in the garage. I was able to take down the handlebars and uh, I put it back together. I had it. I had it folded, but I think it'd be more stable like this. And then I used the uh, the mounts that held the ladder in with the bungee cord, and just run it around the center right there. Ain't gonna go nowhere. Yeah. Okay. Well, that takes care of the business in Phoenix. Now you know. Phoenix and I will be leaving here, and. Uh, head toward Quartzsite. I want to thank Christian right here for uh, the opportunity to uh, share his bikes and uh, looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, 
Well, I'm gonna end this little video where? Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. You guys take care. Oh, I give God the glory for my life. Jesus Christ, he's my savior. Felix got him a, he got him a ride. It may not be a motorcycle, but it may be better. Bye. Well, hey everybody. It has been several days since Felix and I stopped at Electric Bikes in Phoenix. Um, and Christian gave us these uh, electric bikes here to try out. Um, you know, two or three days isn't a long time to, uh, to test anything for certain. But I can say that so far, they've done great. It, they feel high quality. Um, we've been riding around the quartzite area. Uh, I've been up to 25 on mine. That uh, spring seat feels nice. The front suspension works pretty good. Nice big fat tires on it. Uh, it seems like a high product. Pro it seems like a high quality product. But I'm going to be riding them in my videos and showing them in my videos for the foreseeable future. And if I have any issues with them, I'm going to point them out. Um, so, uh, Electric uh, wants uh, me to be an affiliate for them. Uh, so if you're going to if you're going to order one anyway, you're going to get one anyway. There's a link in the description uh, below. I'm not sure what kind of link I'm still finalizing it, but by the time this video comes out, hopefully it'll be finalized. So you'll be able to go through this link, I'm assuming, and go into Electric and make your purchase. If you wanna hold off and see how they hold up, hey, I understand that too. I'll give you the good, the bad, and the ugly. But uh, it's not my first experience with them. I uh, believe uh, that David gone boondocking, uh, he had one last year that he liked. Uh, so, yeah, thanks for watching. This is probably one of my longest videos ever. And uh, the crew down there at uh, Phoenix Electric, Christian, and all that staff, they seem real nice. They seem like a high quality bike so far. Okay, thanks for watching the video. Bye.